What's up guys, the Rugby Guru here and today we're bringing you guys the last test on the New Zealand Tour. The All Blacks winning the series already by 2-0 and it's all pride to play for in the final test. Let's go and have a look at the Guru Vipers lineup. It's Olive, um, George Hoxley, Rainer Lewitz, Robert Heineke, Sportswitz HD, Michael Court, Owam Hoyer, Johan Labeskachny, Johan Kutsier, David Taawa, Keegan Edie, Joppi Fulyun, Hannes Labeskachny, Dave Callagher and Otis Murray for the last test of the New Zealand Tour. On the bench you've got Mbalula, um, Regan Phillips, Johan Lorden, James Marchand, LaRue Smith, Ruan Opperman, Valentin and Bobella. And this is the last test, guys. So for this one, we are going to see through the Haka. It's been a great experience having played the club teams, the Super Rugby teams in New Zealand. We've managed to win one there and draw a very tough game against the Maoris. And we've had a f the first test was really good against the All Blacks, going down 28-21. And then the second test, we kind of just lost it. So a lot of pride up on the line in the final one. Um, after this, we will be touring South Africa. So do look out for that as we will be facing quite a lot of club teams in South Africa as well as a free match test series against the Springboks. So yeah, let's get underway, guys. This is the final test. Richie Moanga with the kickoff goes out to Johan Labeskachny. He are oh, intercepted by Moanga almost immediately. So trouble here for the Kuru Vipers very early on again. But Hoya makes a very good turnover, but it's been turned back by the All Blacks. So they're on the attack again. Labeskachny makes a good tackle. Heineke Hoya and Sportswitz Aichi trying to bring them down. Around about 10 meters from the try line now, Aaron Smith gets tackled backwards. The Vipers promise that they're going to have a big game today. So let's see if they can keep their promise. Labaskachny stole that ball on the ground and a dangerous tackle by Aaron Smith. And he is going to go to the bin for that. Only a yellow card then and a chance for the Guru Vipers to clear their lines as it's David Tawa he finds touch on the 10 meter line Guru Vipers territory what are they going to do here oh throw in from Hoxley does not find his man finds Vitalik and now they need to defend this attack from the All Blacks good defense though Still holding out pretty well is the Guru Vipers at the moment. Standing the man in defense and doing a really good job of it. Now Michael Court made it a really good one there. Now a chance here for the All Blacks just inside the 10 meter line of the Guru Vipers. Great defense from them. And they're pushing the All Blacks back at the moment. Something that you don't normally see happen. So now they've decided to go on a driving mall. It's going forward for the All Blacks now. Sam Whitelock out to Leonard Brown. Finds George Bridge. Great little run from him, but turnover by Lewitz. Now Hannes Labaskachny out to David Tawa. David Tawa is going to put it on the boot. It's going to be Keller who's going to chase this. Bowden Barrett is after it. He collects. Just inside their own 22 is the All Blacks now. Fumping tackle from Michael Court. Now Hoxley on his uh, opposite number. And it's Brody Retallick who finds a bit of space. But the All Blacks are getting tackled back inside their own 22. Joe Moody goes on a little run. What are they going to do now? Retallick's got it. Beats one, gets thumped in the second one. And there's going to be a penalty against the All Blacks for holding on. 
So a chance here for the Guru Vipers to take the lead. Well, they decide not to go for goal there and test the All Blacks on defense now. Five meters from the line, brilliant kick from Ta'awa. What are they going to do here? Moment of magic required now from the Guru Vipers. Throw in by Hoxley, Fying Sawyer. Now could see it. Oh, it's Edie who knocks it on. Unfortunately, there. The attack looked pretty good until that little knock on from, from Keegan Edie. And a chance now for the All Blacks to clear their line. 13 minutes gone they decided to go on a set play here now George Bridge out it goes well Sebu is a little bit isolated there for a moment but the All Blacks still have possession now Joe Moody was taken into touch so another good opportunity now for the Guru Vipers with Aaron Smith retaining, returning from the Sinbin Throw in from Hoxley, but it's not, not going to be straight again. And two opportunities now going away for the Guru Vipers. Two really good opportunities. First the knock on, Find. and now the line up throw that wasn't straight. So Sit. you can't make these mistakes against the All Blacks and not score. Otherwise, you're going to be in some serious trouble. Now they're going for another little set play, brilliantly run in by Severis, but he's going nowhere with the defense pretty solid at the moment. Oh, even Retallick is getting tackled. Now Aaron Smith, he's back from the bin being fresh and all. Lovis Gaffney turns it over and now there's a chance here for the Guru Vipers. It's gone out to Keller and he's going to open the scoreboard. For the Guru Vipers, well, easy as that. After struggling on two attempts, they finally make the breakthrough here in the first half. With around about how many minutes gone? Let's first have a look at the replay. Good defense from Lewitz, turnover by Labaskachny, quick hands from Sportswitz HD, and out it went to Dave Callagher, who dives over for. He's made and try against the All Blacks. So, 18 minutes gone. Now David Ta'awa is going to do the conversion. Let's see if he's going to get this. Oh. It, it's gone over, ladies and gentlemen. Thought for a moment it was not going to go over. But eventually it just dropped over the crossbar and a good chance now again oh intercepted by the All Blacks so surely they're going to score here oh have they managed to keep them out well did Frizzell get over there yes he did and a great response from the All Blacks then intercepted by Kudu Reese went out to Laulala, he went inside to Barrett, Retallick and then Frizzell just popped it and a great response from the All Blacks as we go into the 22nd minute of this game. Conversion kick up against the post and the Vipers to lead. It's 7 points to 5. Well, you don't see Mohanga miss a conversion kick that often. So, big moments now for the Guru Vipers. Good defense. Aaron Smith decides to go. Now, good little run there. Now, it's good here into space. And this looks dangerous. Did the little sidestep, but didn't back himself. And Court have somehow stolen it, but intercepted again by the All Blacks. On the 10 meter line of the Guru Vipers, now they have to defend for dear life. Good defense from Sportswitz HD. Throws a loose pass. All Blacks still have it now. Aaron Smith 
Good defense. Release. Pick and go from Frizzell. Hoxley makes the tackle. Now Lilala. Out to Retallic. Beats two, beats three. Tackled by the fourth one. Inside the Guru Vipers territory. Now Smith picks and go. Big defense turning them backwards at the moment. Now uh, Sam Whitelock have a go. Retallic again beats two defenders. But the Awa has stolen it for them now. Labaskachny knocks it on. And another chance now. Well, they're going to come back for the knock on then. So Hannes Labaskachny then knocks that ball on. Their handling errors is just bringing them down a little bit at the moment. They had a really good attacking opportunity there. And the handling just let them down a little bit. So attacking scrum for the All Blacks just outside the 22. Well, ta well, well fed there by Aaron Smith. Now he goes out to Mohanga. Beats one. Couldn't beat the second defender just outside the 22. Good defense from Yopi Falun. Turnover by Hoxley. Now, Edie out to Tawa, back inside to court. Do they still have possession? There's nobody at the back, and Johan could see have spotted that. Now, can Edie follow this up? He is chasing. Severis is also back there now. Can we see some good defense now? Bowden Barrett thumps it downfield. It's Johan could see underneath it. He puts an up and under there. He's the smallest oak and he's going to try and chase this down. But the mark has been taken by none other than Joe Moody. So let's see what he can do with that. He taps and go. Passes to Reese. Offloads to Cody Taylor. Oh, another turnover but intercepted by the All Blacks. Bowden Barrett has found a bit of space. Now Aaron Smith. They're up to the 22 meter line. Shannon Frizzell beats one, gets tackled by Fillion. Quick ball required here by the All Blacks. Moody, he tried to drive it up, got tackled well. Smith back to Frizzell, tackled nicely by the smallest guy on the field. Now Johan Navaskahni makes a good tackle, Sports Vets HD. Oh, the Guru Vipers are defending for dear life today. So much that they just throw a loose ball into touch. <laughs> Heineke didn't expect the ball there. So he was quite surprised to get it. Now the throw in by Cody Taylor. Good throw in, find Sam Whitelock. Now Mohanga out to Goodhue. Switches back inside. But another penalty against the All Blacks for holding on. And now decision time. 35 minutes gone. They're still going to go for touch now. The kick into touch. And now an opportunity for the Vipers to attack. Let's see what Oxley can do here. The throw in looks good. He finds Heineke. Now they've got an opportunity to drive this mall up. Not going anywhere at the moment. Now Olive picks it up. Labas Gachny out to Tawa. He gets tackled pretty well. Vipers still have possession. Now it's good to see her. Out to Hannes Labas Gachny. Now Edie back inside. They go. Michael Court. Tackled pretty well there, but they still do have possession, looking good. What are they going to do now? Set play coming up, Tawa, out it goes to Otis Murray, he finds Keller, back inside the go, but the pass is loose and the All Blacks got possession. Ritalik's got it inside his own half now, the kick by Mohanga and he's going to find touch. And the Guru Vipers are leading here at half time. A great defensive effort from them and a truly good chance to win this game. So we are going to make the changes now, so the next stop we will have the changes coming on. Bobella comes on for Johan Kutsia. Um, Valentin is going to come on for Murray. 
Opperman is going to replace Ta'awa. Regan Phillips is going to replace Phil Yun. Uh, Martian is going to replace Labaskagni. LaRue uh, Smith is going to come on on the wing in the place of Edie. And then Lorden is going to replace Hoy. And Mbalula is going to replace Lewitz. So here we go, 40 minutes to go. Can the Vipers make history by beating the All Blacks in this third test? Ta'awa with the kickoff. Good chase there, but taken in well there by Laulala. Sam Kane now intercepted by Olive. Taken in, stolen there by the All Blacks. And now on the halfway is Aaron Smith. Back inside to Barrett. Barrett has joined the line quite a bit today in attempt to find a hole, but not being successful in it. Now Sam Kane again. Now to Barrett. This time he finds a bit of space. And he beats the last defender. Now on the attack is the, the, the All Blacks. Just outside the 22 now, Britallic. But it's been turned over by Lavaskahni. Now Heineke goes to Ta'awa. Phil Yun. Phil Yun might be going all the way. No, Severus is going to chase him down. Just the sheer pace of Severus. Just too much there. Now Lavaskahni. Can he get the offload? No, he can't. So it's, been a, it's a turnover now from the All Blacks. Chance here for Anton Leonard Brown beats three defenders taken in by Kane but stolen by Hoxley and now there's another opportunity now what can they do Edie inside to Phil Yun brilliant little interplay now Ta'awa Ta'awa on the run can he go all the way no he can't and into touch he goes so interesting little play from the Guru Vipers here they're looking really good today and now all the replacements is coming on. So let's see if this is going to have any effect on the performance so far from these guys. They've been really exceptional today. Taken in by Sam Whitelock. All Blacks in their own 22 at the moment. Now Lolala goes on, here on a run. But he gets stopped very quickly. Nearly turnover. Now Frizzell. Beats one it's defender, brilliant. couldn't spin Royce. out the second one. Aaron Smith to Joe Moody. <laughs> this is Royce. a big moment in the game, guys. If they make a mess up of this, there could be problems. They're going backwards at the moment. They need to kick this out of their own 22. Aaron Smith passes to Retallick again. He gets driven back. Now, Sense comes to play as Barrett kicks it downfield. This could be trouble for the Guru Vipers. We've seen it in the past. Oh, but great defense from Valentin. And now, a chance here for the Guru Vipers to attack. It's going to be Phillips. Can Phillips go all the way? Leonard Brown brings him down just on halfway. So, just not enough speed there from Regan Phillips. But we nearly saw a mix-up again at the back. But luckily, Valentin made a phenomenal defensive tackle. And now, Sportswitz HD turned that ball over from the lineout, But a knock-on. And a bad one, too. So, another opportunity now for the All Blacks to attack. 52 minutes played. The Guru Vipers about 25 minutes away from history kick downfield by Barrett that's not a good kick and it's going to run all the way over the line so we're going to come back now for the scrum surely just inside Viper territory 55 minutes gone can they hold out The team that's going to score the next points probably will win this game. 
Now Martiant. Out it goes to Larry Smith. A little chip kick over the top. Chased down by Smith. Good defense. Oh dear, he has trouble. No, they've managed to get him. So it's going to be another line out with the Guru Vipers on the attack. So the throw in finds Heineken. Now Bobella out to Keller. Phillips back inside to Lorden. Throws out the pass to Sportswitz HD. Martian to Opperman now caught. And Keller. Vipers still in possession now. Slow ball coming for them. Out it goes to Sportswitz HD. Now Martian. Phillips out to Opperman and it's again Larue Smith. Can he make a little gap? No, he can't. Tackled really well there by Aaron Smith and it's been turned over. Now chance for the All Blacks to counter-attack. Martian brings down Goodhue. Release. Inside All Black territory. Now Joe Moody. Back it goes to Bowden Barrett. Can't beat the defender. Inside they still are in their own 22 now. An opportunity here for Bridge. Will Bridge go all the way? Oh, thumping tackle again by Valentin. That's the second almost try saving tackle he's made since coming on to the field. All Black still on the attack. Barrett gets driven back in that tackle. On the 10 meter line of the Guru Vipers, Hoxley. Try to bring down Guru. He's still going strongly. Now a chance for Sevilla to La Lola. Good defense from Martian. Turnover ball. Now Court. Can Court find a bit of space for Phillips? He does. A little chip kick over the top and the attack. George Bridge collects Seba Reese on the attack. Now Guru. More trouble now for the Vipers. On halfway. All Blacks collect the ball. Now it's Michael Cord tackles really well turnover ball. Lorden Phillips out to Keller back inside to Mambalula who gives it out to Bobella. Oh the Guru Vipers just look so much better today. Now Martian out it go oh, intercepted by Mohanga. On the 10 meter line the All Blacks on the attack. Cody Taylor, Sam Kane Back to Mohanga. Good defense from Lavaskafni. And another penalty against the All Blacks for holding on. So that's the third penalty in this game against him. So great rucking from the Vipers today. Putting all the pressure on them. So the penalty kick goes out on the 10 meter line of the All Blacks. 13 minutes to go. Two points to difference. Throw in by Hoxley, finds Lorden, now Bobella, it's Phillips out to Martian with a little chip kick over the top, but collected very well by the All Blacks and a chance for them to attack, but turnover from Court, he's been brilliant today. Oh, another intercept pass to, well, Sportswitz HD has turned that over anyway, now Olive out to Lorden, oh, the gas is just not there. Now another attacking opportunity this time from Smith but the turnovers are happening in this game guys. Ridiculous amount of turnovers. Now Opperman with a little chip kick over the top. Finds Sever Reese and now the All Blacks go on a driving mall. They're probably up to halfway now and a chance for the All Blacks. Now Martian makes a good tackle. It's La Lala on the ball. Not releasing. But another penalty against the All Blacks again for holding on. So Michael Court has been really phenomenal at scrum uh, at ruck time today. So they're again not going to go for goal because they know the All Blacks got the capability of going to score the try. So they're just running down the time. And another chance now for the Vipers. They have a here. The line-out throw from Hoxley. 
finds Heineke and now they go for the driving mall something looks good here they're going forward well they're not going forward but it's retreating rather now the throw to Bobella he finds Lavaskachny great offload to Martian and that's going to surely be the winner today if this conversion goes over history will be made today because there's so little time left but ne you never know it's against the All Blacks but a great little play from the Vipers could have just secured history for them right about now Martian just sniping through slicing through that gap and now a chance for Opperman to maybe seal this game with five minutes to go let's see if this is going to go over it looks good it's straight through so 14 points to five the vipers leading the all blacks yeah at the orange fury stadium the kickoff taken in by sports with hd michael court goes forward Guru Viper still in possession. Now Bobella out to Lorden to Opperman. Throws a loose pass. Good defense from Phillips. Taken in. Oh, don't give the All Blacks that opportunity. Keep them out. Keep them out. 10 meters from the line. Aaron Smith goes on a little snipe. It's Cody Taylor. Now it's out to Kane. Oh, and a thumping tackle from Heineke. Well, lucky not to get the yellow there. So, another chance now for the All Blacks. What did they do? They tap and go. Skane and Smurt. And it's going to be Leonard Brown who dives over. So, there's still a slight chance here for the All Blacks. Depending on how long this conversion will take. It was first a high tackle, then the quick tap. And just through the hands great drive from the All Blacks let's see if there's going to be time after this conversion yes there will be around about 30 seconds to go it's now or never for the Vipers probably the last kickoff of the game Ruan Opperman with that restart it's Keller chasing after it, but collected by Laulala. Good defense from Phillips. It's turned over by, by the Vipers now. They just need to kick this out. Don't need to be clever about it. Oh, they are thrown a loose ball. Marsha needs to fix his problem. He does so. It's been turned over again. Why are they still running? More trouble now. Can they hold out? They just need to defend this now. Release. Why they didn't kick it out is just really silly. Now Sevilla, they can always go for the little drop goal if they don't get a chance to work it through. Mbalula. Now it's Aaron Smith. Out it goes to White Block. And there's a knock on from the All Blacks. And that's going to be it. History has been made. The Vipers win the final yeah, test here at the Orange Ferry Stadium. So now I can't wait for the South African tour to begin. It's going to be really, really interesting. Absolutely fantastic defensive display from the Vipers today. They nearly threw it away here at the end. But a really, really good test. The All Blacks will run away with the with the series, winning it 2-1. But just beating the All Blacks here today will make this tour a very successful one. So until next time, guys, this is the Rugby Guru. Cheers for now.